What's going on everyone? It's Moto Miracle. In today's video, we're going to do a product review on the ILM motorcycle boots. I am so excited about these things. My boots now are shredded. So I'm excited to try these out. So I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to show you all about the key features about these gorgeous boots. And then we'll get on the bike and I'll give you all my first impressions. So anyways, let's go with the intro and let's check out this video. What's up, y'all? If you're new to my channel, I'm just traumatic brain your survivor with a second chance at life. I want to share my journey to you through my eyes. Go get your merchandise at uh, my Teespring. It's in my link tree account on my Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and it's also on my YouTube account. So if you want to skip this whole thing and just go to the first impressions, and it's gonna be down in the, in the description. But basically, what we're gonna be doing is the, the unboxing, and then we're gonna do like I'm gonna tell y'all all the like good features about this motorcycle boots. First thing, I got a Venmo account. So if you want to give me any money for anything, you know, to support the channel, you know, for gas, for coffee, for the Brain Injury Association of Maryland, for traumatic brain injuries survivor event that I want that I want to make and do. If you want to put any of the money you want to put to that, just put it in the description. Put it in the Venmo account. Let me know what you want and we'll do that. Then I'll definitely, you know, do a quick shout out for y'all. But yeah, let's go in the office and let's go check out these boots. All right, y'all, we are at the office. It's a little mess right now, sorry. We got a baby on the way, so, you know, most of the storage is now in the office, so, but that's okay. But man, I am excited about these shoes. I, I've been waiting for these shoes for a while. Finally got the money to get them. So anyways, let's go do this unboxing. <laughs> ILM motorcycle boots they are gorgeous baby I, I mean ooh, oh man one thing that's gonna already annoy me is right here see how the laces one two three and this one's flipped I gotta change that man let me go fix it do one of these type of things there you go nice and better back on the line and back the way it should be I mean they look very comfortable you know what I'm saying like they're very soft on the inside this is nice and soft over here this is nice and they're very sturdy boots obviously once I get on the bike and put these shoes on and put some miles on here I'll get a better understanding on these shoes but uh we'll probably do like a 2,000 or 5,000 mile review on that one and I'll do like a, what I hate and what I love about it one of the key features right here is got right here we have the ankle we have ankle protection on both sides very thick very i mean it's hard as a rock i don't know if you can hear that it's hard all the way down here all the way down it's all hard this is hard this is a rubber the rubber sole it looks good um there's a little scratch right here but you know i'm gonna be doing some miles so i mean i don't really care about that these things are sturdy bro like i mean i mean they're st dirty if y'all have gone snowboarding it reminds me of like motorcycle boots how it's like down here i mean it's hard as a rock like they're hard here and it's hard here it's that it's still hard here but softer so it's still hard up here but obviously it's softer for like more comfort and softer over here for more comfort but it's not back to being hard over here back to being really hard like a freaking rock right there i mean it's hard Oh man, they said they're good, more everyday, like fashionable motorcycle um, shoes. So they should be able to go walk around for an everyday stuff and for the bike, not just for them and not just for the bike. So hopefully it's like, it, I, I have some type of bend. I mean, you don't want too much bend. You know what I'm saying? You do want it to be harder because if you do go down, you don't want to roll your ankle, roll, break your foot, break your heel, anything like that. You know what I'm saying? They say it's got a thickened heel, which yeah, it's, it's thick. I, I mean, you're not gonna move. Like you're not rolling your ankle at all on this thing right here. I mean, not at all, man. That's kind of cool. I roll my ankle all the time. Ever since I tore two out of three, two out of three ligaments on my ankle, 
I mean, I roll my ankle easily now, so hopefully this will help me now a lot more. I mean, it is sturdy. These might be my everyday boot shoes too now, man. So they say that they have non-slip soles, so we'll see, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it looks really nice, like the the, the gears, it's kind of cool like that. Thing is, hold on, let me get my motorcycle boots. I got, I'm, I'm wearing my motorcycle boots right now, so you can see them. Uh, so the motorcycle boots, they're, I mean, they're shot. I mean, look at them there. So you see on these ones, there's nothing left over here. It's thin, like I need them, it's slippery now, but these used to be, um, kind of tell like over here, how thick they used to, how thick it used to be, you know what I'm saying? And then after what, three, four years, like now, I, three years, wow, 2009, 2019 maybe, 2020 maybe, so three years, yeah, three years I had this, and I wore this whole thing out, so now it's like flat, you know, it's it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like a uh, brake pad, so it's like the more you use it, the more it wears off, and then the less it, it works, you know, like it's a little thicker down here, so, so these are these were very thick. That's the only thing I'm worried about is right here. They're not super thick. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they do have thickness, but it's not as thick as those boots. So I'm a little worried about that. I mean, I guess we'll see, you know? They say they're non-slip. So I mean, we'll see if it's actually non-slip because you know how it is, in, uh, especially here in Maryland when it's, you know, it rains a lot. So when it rains, it gets very slippery, especially with oils. So the oils will be very, um slippery so hopefully this will we'll see what kind of grip it is then also i ride all year round so in the winter hopefully this helps me a little in the in the snow and the ice and stuff like that you know but i mean it looks good but i'm a little worried you know because they're not as thick as these boots i, I just feel like these boots here man they're shot like look at this that's from shifting too much that's crazy but these things i like is this right here it's got the it's like a i always like the zip you know keeps it closed this one has no oh, cheese. This one has this right here. So basically the laces don't go everywhere. You don't want the um, laces to go underneath like the wheels or anything that could mess up anything really badly. So, so we got these nice, like I'm really excited about this. The one thing that, <laughs> let me take these boots out of here. The one thing that I'm worried about is how long will these last? You know what I'm saying? Like I have gloves and after like a year and a half that stopped, these stopped working and then it was just kind of loose. So I'm wondering if how long they'll last. So I'll, maybe I'll do 5,000 miles on here to figure out how long it lasts. Comment down in the description if you have any, if you have any, like there's any like tips or tricks that can actually like say these aren't, you know, sticking anymore. Is there a way to actually clean them so it actually works, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see, but like, I mean, they look good with this part. Hopefully the straps last long, they say they do, so we'll see, you know, we'll do some miles on here and get it done. A huge key feature though, I'll show you here, is the thickened shifter area. So right here, as you can tell, well, this is the left side, so this is the shifter. So now it's right here, that is so nice. Basically I say this is for impact resistance. So, I mean, we'll see, it looks really cool. Like I kind of like it. Yeah, you know, actually I really do like it, but we'll see. So that's a shifting area. So basically I don't have to worry about, like I said, on my boots, this whole thing right here with the boots, like it's like, the, I got, look at my laces. I got one lace up here. I got one lace somewhere down here. Like that's cause the shifting kind of ripped my shoes, ripped laces. So hopefully that works though. That's such a cool feature because the sh I shift so much, so obviously, you know, hope we'll see how long this lasts, and I'm gonna obviously, hopefully, we'll see after, you know, 2,000 to 5,000 miles. At first, I was like, I didn't like how this side right here had the shifter pad, pad over here. Like, you don't shift on the right side, you know, you just hit the brake, you know? So, but at the same time is, it will, and that would kind of, I think it kind of look weird if you had it just on one side and not the other. So I guess it makes sense why I got both of them. So it kind of looks good though, you know? But I'm excited about the shifter part. So see how long these last. They did say that these are waterproof. So hopefully, I mean, we'll see. It looks like, it kind of looks like leather. So we'll see how this lasts in the rain. Cause it says it's water resistant, waterproof, sorry, waterproof. So yeah, they say due to the microfiber, they said it should help more with the waterproof. So I guess we'll see, like I said, uh, I'll put a video up here. The video that I got stuck in the rain, uh, literally like a freaking tornado, it literally is like a tornado, like a hurricane, it was bad. It says it's splash proof and breathable. The breathable part, we'll see how it goes, cause this is solid, like there's no, I don't see anything breathable through it, you know? I love these shoes so far. You know, I mean, don't, I'm a little hesitant for certain parts, you know, because you don't want water in your boots, cause then it's like, then it's not enjoyable as a ride. 
and especially if it's a colder day outside that's always the worst and then hopefully the skid resistant i think those are only two that i'm really worried and then this part right here like i love this part but hopefully it doesn't last hopefully it lasts long you know i guess time tells you know time to tell time is tell so the biggest thing also is the ankle and the heels is polyvinyl chloride which is pvc which is if it's a right pvc that i'm thinking about it's a ones that you, know, you put in pipe it makes the pipes last very long so hopefully this will make it last very long and also so you don't roll your ankle and hurt yourself like i said one thing is i don't know if it's gonna be too comp too like too tight and then you can't really like bend which is that's what i'm hoping it does i hope it is a little bend to it you know and also they say it's impact resistant i have no clue if it's going to be impact resistant um i mean obviously it seems like it is because like it's just it's nice and i mean these are hard the pvc is going to help it so much with the impact resistance so if you go down you don't you know roll your ankle or you know mess up you know, or like you know mess up somewhere more down here you know what i'm saying so we'll see i'm excited though they said this is great for poor weather so uh, i ride all year round so we'll see what happens man you know i'm a little worried about the snow with the slipperiness and the rain with the everything but it looks good so that was the key features right there so really what the we got a killer cat over here <laughs> what the all right. All right. So that was the key features. So now I'm going to take these ugly boots off, put these new sexy shoes on and uh, let's get on the bike and give you all my first impressions. All right. So we were in the garage and we're going to go for a quick ride. But as you can tell, I still got my nasty boots on. So let's do some type of magic and uh, let's go get changed. Maybe let's see if uh, this works. Whoo. Did that work? All right. Got these new shoes. Looking fresh to death, baby. These are definitely like uh, snowboarding boots where it's got a little bend right here. You know, the only bend is right here. It's solid here and it is solid here. So going up the stairs, it's very easy, but going downstairs is more like I said, if you if y'all ever had a snowboarding boots, then y'all know that like, it's very hard. It's like very stiff. Like you walk like, you know? So it's very stiff. The only, the, literally the only bend is right here. So there's nothing, the ankle's just tight, very, very tight. It's so sturdy. Hopefully some of y'all that watch the video, my videos, that um, they all actually snowboard so you know exactly what I'm talking about. But they look fresh to death, baby. All right, going through the leaves, see how slippery it is through the leaves. Oh my gosh, that is complete grip, baby. Oh, all right, liking these, liking these uh, boots, shoes so far. Right now, you see all the leaves out here, the fall leaves. And normally it's very slippery and these grip already like the grips went like I stuck right where the leaves are so that's actually a good positive hopefully that these um they last that's the biggest thing as I'm saying it's about how long it is you know what I'm saying how long these uh the grips are gonna last all right so now we're gonna do a uh, what I like and what I hate for the first impressions and yeah let's get this done baby perfect right what that is oh yeah oh yeah baby so yeah so this is gonna be the first impressions right now i love these boots so far i mean obviously i'm not gonna know till the 2000 to 5000 i'm probably gonna do 5000 honestly because that 5000 really is gonna be broken in it's gonna be real i mean 2000 probably would work too but i i usually like doing the 3000 just 5000 just because that little it's got that little 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 wiggle room you know what i'm saying so with the boots i had the foot is like where the foot was where the toes were i could feel it you know like i felt exactly when i shift this one you don't feel the shift as much because it's like it's all pvc you know but yeah like i don't feel anything i don't think like i said we'll see after a while we'll see how long the the grip the little we'll see how long these let's look in this side we'll see how long these pads last you know what i'm saying on yeah, right here these pads right here we'll see how long they last you know but uh we'll see i like it though so far so far you know it's a it's a 10 out of 10 right now the only thing that's rough right now is like the heel and the ankle since it's got the pvc and it's very very stiff it's like the snowboarding boots i hope some of y'all i hope one of y'all actually know what i'm talking about if you do please comment down below right down below let's go left because then i'll know exactly that you know someone knows what i'm talking about they can add on to the list like how they feel about the the snowboarding boots oh uh, it's beautiful out nice fall day out here in maryland in northern maryland baby oh, so beautiful so overall the thing i said that i was worried about was the non-skid and um let's go this way 
and the non-skid is more like right so far man they like I, I didn't slip on that on that leaf on those leaves so that's always a good thing you know so now we're gonna check check out in the winter when it gets a little ice and stuff like that we'll see if that works plus like I said I'm just worried about how long will the grip last you know what I'm saying how long will it last until you know then all of a sudden it just I'm sliding on everything again you know so we'll, we'll see on that one but they're very comfortable shoes I can right now I can they're a little break-in period I know I have to get in I don't know if I figure out what the break-in period I'll comment down below but they're they're very comfortable riding shoes i can literally ride all day with these literally all day you know some the shoes obviously it's a little a little stiff obviously it might be just stiff also because it's got to wear in you know but uh even if not if it's still gonna stay stiff from now on like because of pvc and everything i'm fine with that i don't mind like i said i love i love wearing my um my snowboarding boots like they're like i got used to those you know so if you look at it over here oh it looks at the bend so if you look the bend is right there, right, right at right below, right before the the um, the pad area. So when you go up the stairs, it's very easy. When you're walking, it's very easy. But going down the stairs, it's got snowboarding boots where it's like it's very stiff, and you're kind of walking like a Tin Man, you know. But the thing is, they look beautiful, man. They feel amazing. Um, I highly recommend to wear higher socks. I'm wearing shorter socks, and I can see it kind of rubbing right now. So definitely definitely wear definitely wear higher socks for that you know but besides that i mean it's really good i like it the only thing about your shoes is you know what i'm saying it's like they gotta wear in that's the only way you'll know how they are you know oh i'm so happy i got new shoes man it look they look sexy man they feel oh they feel comfortable <laughs> hopefully they last long if they last long like i said i think i'm going to do the 5000 mile review i might do a 2000 mile review for like um uh, shorts uh youtube shorts you know what i'm saying because i want to really do some work on these on these shoes you know but i like them i can tell y'all oh my lanta i really like them if you have any questions about these shoes if any questions concerns anything you got comment down below uh, if you had these shoes before let me know what you think if you had them for a very long time did you like them like did they last long like what's going on with them you know yeah it's just it's a little stiff it's just a little stiff because like normally like i kind of have my shoes kind of hanging out over a little and then when you shift you just go over and shift but since it's got the pvc the pvc in the ankles and the wrist uh the ankles and the ankles and the heel it's it's hard to like like let it go like i go here click shift shift up down whatever but instead like i have to kind of almost keep it here because it's kind of twisting from here twisting from here to here going from here to here it's very hard the non-stick um grip on the bottom they're so good that moving normally on my other boots i go like this like i say i'm going to downshift right yeah and then let's go up shift like that it's like normally on my boots it's very very simple i can slide my boots left this way move it and put it down put it this way put it this way but my the grip is actually so good that it's hard to actually do this little turn right here it's really hard to do that i guess the grip is really good that's the one thing i was worried about so nice and nice like i said the only other thing that i'm worried about is this part right is the the ankle the what's called the strap above the ankle with the velcro that's the one thing i'm worried about but like i said time will only tell time to tell time will only tell what y'all think about these shoes they are gorgeous Woo! man i love these boots all i can say ilm great boots great company they're very cheap too i think they're like 89 dollars, so it's really not bad at all you know i need to put some miles on this to tell you everything you know because right now everything feels good it's a little stiff but how long will it be stiff will it be stiff the whole time because of pvc or will that all kind of get softer and you know get a little better you know what i'm saying not not it kind of hurts just a little but that's because uh, also i don't i have the uh, ankle socks so you know you definitely put higher socks on usually after a while on these motorcycle boots my motorcycle boots normally after a while my feet start hurting i was been riding just for a little but i feel nothing like there's no pain there's literally just it feels like i'm i'm like my feet are just sitting on a cloud right now literally so that's really good you know ilm you did a great job with what you're doing like with this brand you know i've never really heard of it before i saw it randomly on amazon i was like i gotta get these they look good look so far i was shifting a lot of times and literally it, i feel not like there's no scrapes no anything looks good like i said walking it feels like i'm on snowboarding boots 
I feel like I got snowboarding boots right now. You know, where the it's just it feels like this is just straight up just connected, like just one big thing and you can't move. The only spot that moves is right here, you know. But like if it stays like that forever, I'm fine with that. I know it's more like the snowboarding boots, but if it gets a little softer, then I'll let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what's going to happen with the PVC. Because I got PVC here, PVC here, PVC all here. Nice. Oh, that little bump right there. <laughs> the little bridge. My, my booty got some air on that. These are the ILM motorcycle shoes. And they're amazing. They're gorgeous. I love them. 10 out of 10 i uh, definitely recommend to get them but like i said at 2,000 miles and at the 5,000 mile mark i'll let y'all know and give you a quick update at the 2,000 with the shorts and a 5,000 mile i'll give you more you know at the 5,000 miles i'll do more you know what i'm saying anyways these are amazing shoes i'm gonna go finish the rest of my ride enjoy these shoes but yeah if you like this video anyway so this is another video though so if you like this video then please press that like button if you want to show some love for this channel then please press that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed and please press that bell icon for future notifications. Till next time, y'all. Ride safe, spread those positive vibes, never give up. It's more than a miracle, and I'm out of here.